Hey guys, this is Clement Fiore, engineer at SDI, and today I'm gonna walk you through the included parts and installation process of the ILC electronics package. So here's a summary of the ILC package installation, starting with the eClick ECU, going to the uh, ILC plus eClick ECU main plug with the three additional connectors, the ECU input connector going to the ILC packet, the power input wiring harness out of the ILC assembly going towards the vehicle's battery, positive terminal, negative terminal, and then the four outputs, fuse protected, you need to install the own fuse depending on the circuit you're trying to connect, and you have a positive and negative for each of the accessory you're connecting. As an option, you can also connect the KC RGB lights adapter that we supply to the Inclick plus ILC main ECU plug and this will allow you to connect up to three per adapter so up to six for the whole setup KC RGB lights. So if you already own an Inclick product and you want to add the ILC package to your existing setup please contact SDI with your ECU serial number and uh, the SDI staff is going to let you know if we need the ECU back as well as the touchscreen for a reflash in order to be compatible with the ILC package. So here is your, where you can find your ECU serial number, 2940, and you have four digits. That's what we need to know. So now about the installation of the ILC package, the first step is going to be selecting your location for the ILC assembly. In that um, demonstration, we're using a Toyota Tacoma that offers plenty of empty room for the installation of the, of the assembly. So what is important to keep in mind is to be four feet away or closer to the vehicle's battery and the currently installed Inclink ECU because of the length of the wiring harnesses supplied in the um, ILC assembly. So in this application, we decided to use the supplied Velcro tape. I just secured the box very nicely in there. We're super close to the Inclick ECU, to the vehicle's battery. So that's just the perfect location for this application. So as mentioned before, you want to start with making sure that your Inclick ECU has the correct main ECU plug that uh, comprises the three extra connectors required for the ILC package. Next, we're going to connect the power to the ILC assembly box. So we're going to route in that application, routing uh, along the fender here, and then connecting the ground to the battery connection and then the power to the power of the battery connection. Once you have your power connected to the ILC assembly, you're going to connect the ECU input wiring harness out of the ILC assembly to the Inclick ECU. Through the connections, um, it's going to be a Dutch six pin gray connections, female to male. And then final step of the ILC assembly installation is, um, is to connect your lights or accessories to any of the four outputs uh, offered by the ILC assembly. For this specific example, we have connected two AP lights and two fog lights. Um, we used Dutch connectors that we actually recommend those are sealed, waterproof, uh, they were great, they never fail. Um, that's what we recommend. Obviously, if you guys have a more basic equipment, you can also select heat shrinkable butt connections. So this way, once you shrunk it, it's gonna be sealed and very nice and won't rust or corrode. Uh, make sure once you connect the positive and the negative, of each of the accessories or lights that you're installing. Select the correctly rated fuse uh, and install it in the fuse holder in order for your system to work. As mentioned before, we also supply an optional uh, set of adapters 
to connect KC RGB rock lights. Um, you're gonna take your adapter, connect it to the Eclipse plus ILC main ECU plug, like that. And on this example, we have rock lights installed on each corner of the vehicle. All the wires are already routed and all we need to do is connect the four pin connector to the adapter, uh, making sure that the notches align. And that finalizes the install of the ILC package plus the KC RGB rock light option. So once you have the ILC package installed, we'll go to the A-click touchscreen and check out the new features. You're gonna go to the main menu, click and touch the light icon. This menu comprises five different options. Um, let's start with the light one option. So this will control the accessory or light connected to the output number one of the RLC assembly box. Now you have three options to control that light or accessory. First off, you can also turn it on or select the strobe control. Now you can navigate through the four outputs out of the ILC assembly controls uh, through this main menu, one, two, three, and auxiliary. Or as you select one, you can also use the sliding function and go to the output number two. Now, if you purchase the optional KC RGB rock light adapters and you have the rock lights installed on your vehicle. You'll go and select the rock light icon. And in that menu, you'll be able to select first the color that you want to set your lights. And by swiping, you also can select the brightness and the intensity of the lights. All right, this covers the installation of the ILC package. Please check out our website if you need more information or contact us for any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.